Hi, and welcome to Plattercraft TV. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion. Today, we have an outside the jar idea for Mod Podge. We're going to be custom blending Mod Podge with glitters and eyeshadows to create our own formula. And this is going to be perfect for our luminaries. Luminaries are a great addition to any home decor. Our luminaries we've done in this sort of black and white and pink pattern, but of course you could customize this project to any color palette that you have just by simply using different scrap of papers. And they're so beautiful at night when you stick a candle in them. Nice stuff. Lit up, they are gorgeous. Yes. We've done ours just in a collection of three here, mix and matching the papers together, and they all started out just as a plain cylinder like this. This is a frosted one, which works fine, or you could use a clear glass. Either way works fine. The first thing that we did is we took scrap of paper and we cut it to size to fit around the cylinder. Now I just want to show you that we made one side a little bit larger so it overlaps there. And that'll just create a nice seam once you get it all Mod Podge down. So let's do some Mod Podge and we'll show you how that works. So the first thing I like to do when I'm working with the cylinder, paper, and Mod Podge, is I like to put on the Mod Podge right directly onto the cylinder first. And we're just gonna work our way around. Again, you don't have to be too careful with this. You just want a nice, thin coat, making sure you're hitting all the areas. And remember, Mod Podge goes on a little bit foggy, but it dries completely clear. So it looks a little bit messy, but it's gonna clear right on up. There we go. Just like that. Then, I like to get my paper, and I like to start on the back side of my decorative paper and apply my gloss Mod Podge right to the back. Now, the reason why I'm putting it on the sealer and the paper is just to make sure that it really grips and grasps onto my cylinder, and there's no worry of it peeling off. And I love Mod Podge, of course, because it acts as a glue and a sealer. And we've got some very cool things as far as the sealer goes coming up, where we're going to be blending in glitters and eyeshadows to create some very glowing effects. So once you get the back side, you're going to flip your paper over and just apply it right on top. And I'm just slapping this stuff on, and of course, <laughs> get yourself a mat. You don't want to do this on your dining room table, because you will have a Mod Podge <laughs> mat. Here we go. Okay, once that's done, pull it on up, work right on top of your cylinder, and you're just going to place it right on top of that cylinder, and you got yourself a little bit of wiggle room. You can move it around and adjust it as flies while it's still wet. And then I like to go in with my finger and push out any of those air bubbles or wrinkles that might happen, just like that. Working my way all the way around, making sure I hit all those creases. Now we're using these with candles, but of course you could do the same idea for vases. Oh yeah. These are great tabletops, excellent for weddings, great for parties. You can customize these to any themes just by changing out the papers that you use. And of course, all different size cylinders that you want to use. We like to scour thrift stores for them. So just applying a little bit more Mod Podge right on top and just making sure I get all those air bubbles out. You can actually feel them and hear them as they're pushing, as they're pushing out just like so. Okay, once you've got that done, I like to go right back on over and just another coat right on top to smooth out those lines. Now you want to set this aside for about 20 minutes and let it dry. I have a dried one right here. Now as you can see, it's crystal clear and you want to apply your second sheet of paper right on the other side. Now this dries for about 20 minutes, get a nice gloss to it, nice and clear, and Kathy's going to show you the next step to our luminaries. Well, this is one of my favorite things to do. I know a lot of you probably have broken old eyeshadows, little bits of glitter that are left, all kinds of little things like that. Well, you can actually take those and add them to Mod Podge. I've got some gloss formula, and this is a mineral eyeshadow, kind of in a light gold color. I'm just going to add a scoop of that to my Mod Podge. And if you have broken eyeshadow, I just grind it up and add that. You can use blushes, anything like that. I'm going to add some glitter. This is ultra fine glitter, a light silver color, and you'll just mix that together. 
And this is going to act as a top coat for our Luminari. You can see on our finished example, we've got all this shimmer coming through and a little ultra-fine glitter. Just mix that together. The eyeshadow will act as a shimmer and the glitter will be the sparkly glitter. That mixed together. And then you'll just apply it straight onto the paper. This is a top coat, so I like to go just really nice and even strokes in the same direction, up and down. And you can see how that gold eyeshadow is kind of creating a gold shimmer color. And at nighttime when these are lit up, it is so pretty. And that gold eyeshadow is creating that shimmer color, and very delicately they're sprinkled in there all the glitter. So you'll just continue top coating over the luminari until the whole thing is covered. And once it's dry, it's going to look just like this one here, our finished design. And you can see the gold is peeking through. We've got the ultra fine glitter all stuck on the outside, sealed with the Mod Podge. We added some ribbons around the trim. We've got this great velvet flower here. And once the candle's down in, mm. it's such a glowing, pretty luminari. Yeah, they're really unique and one of a kind, and I think they're really great for gifts. Great for gifts, great for parties, yeah. great for tabletops. So for more instructions on our luminari, please go to plaidonline.com. And be sure to check out our bonus idea, which uses the same technique for mod podging on glass, a three-tiered jewelry display. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.